it's Nina. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Lots to talk about on the Hollywood sleaze, so let's get to it. It's Monday fun day, so that means it's time for your weekend movie wrap-up. A lot of movies premiered this weekend. We've got Underworld, the fourth uh, Underworld with Awakening. Uh, we got Haywire, Red Tails, an extremely loud and incredibly close premiered as well uh, nationwide. It did, you know, premiere beforehand in uh, select theaters, but this weekend it finally went out nationwide, and all of those movies made it into the top five. Underworld came in at number one, Red Tails at number two, Two, Contraband is sticking in with number three that came out the weekend before. At number four is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. And number five is Haywire. So it sounds like the box office had a great weekend. Oh, Kate Beckinsale. She's such a hotter vampire than Edward. If you haven't heard, Heidi Klum and Seal are divorcing. Heidi Klum filed the divorce. I mean, she is the supermodel, super mom, and awesome entrepreneur. After about seven years of marriage and three kids later, she is filing for that divorce. She put down irreconcilable differences, and a source came out and said that Heidi just could not take Seal's explosive anger anymore. It was a long time coming, and they finally did it. They had a rough year, and they are getting that divorce. So good luck to them. It's funny because they're known for renewing their vows every year, and it's really nice and sweet, and they have these huge ceremonies. I wonder if they're going to have a ceremony for di their divorce. I mean, they've got to have some sort of sense of humor. Plus, they've got three kids in the mix. They're still going to talk. Hopefully the divorce is nice and clean. Remember, there's kids in the mix. Jay-Z just became a new father, and the last thing he needs to worry about is a dirty kitchen. His sports bar in Manhattan 4040 was shut down because of many health code violations. It seems that food workers were not using the proper utensils. There was an inadequate personal cleanliness of the cooking staff, meaning that they were dirty, including some of the food. And the food was also not at correct temperatures. That's not, not good. It is now up and running. There have been some changes. They did clean it up. But you would think a man with that much money would just hire someone to take care of that. I mean, he's got a family now to worry about. Last thing he needs is to run back to the restaurant and deal with people telling him that his restaurant's not clean. All right, Jay-Z, you learned your lesson. Now keep it clean. This has been your Hollywood Sleaze for today and more. Go to my website, ninablanco3.wordpress.com. It'll take you over to my blog. You can check out all the stories, the photos, the videos, and more. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Nina, double underscore Blanco. And subscribe. I'll have new videos coming up each week. So I'll see you later. Bye.